Hi, Adam here. Very special day for me. Um, I've been doing these videos for a couple of months now and uh, I realised I've done 12. This is uh, lucky number 13. And um, because of the positive feedback, I've actually taken all of the videos that I've done and I've put them onto YouTube. So I now have my Talking Reward channel. And if you're enjoying these videos and you wanted to see, hey, maybe he's done some, or I don't think I've caught all 12, there's a place that you can go and take a look. However, uh, I haven't come on simply to plug uh, the new channel. I also wanted to talk about a story that uh, caught my eye today. So on the uh, People Management website, an ONS uh, report about uh, sort of job satisfaction, so how happy people are with their working hours. And uh, it's, it's put a very positive spin on it, which at first struck me as odd because it's saying, look, you know, four out of five uh, in this survey are, are happy with the number of hours they're working. And that's, you know, that's great. And, you know, being a, a numbers guy, hang on, four, four out of five. So that's one out of five who aren't happy, 20%. Quick check of the working age, uh, sorry, the population actually working at the moment. That's six million people. Six million people who aren't happy with the hours they're working. And uh, in that breakup, you kind of have uh, about two thirds of that four million who are working more than 48 hours a week, which is sort of putting down as uh, overemployed. And two million who are uh, underemployed, uh, sort of by their own reporting. So... Yeah, from my point of view, you know, I mean, it cites zero hours contracts. It sort of raises the whole, you know, uh, are, are people unable to find permanent work? And that's why um, actually, you know, the unemployment rate is uh, lower than you might think um, because people are taking casual jobs, or working several jobs. Um, but in there, the CIPD, they know their stuff. You know, they've normally got a thing or two going on and they're saying, yeah, actually, you know, this is positive. And they make a link through to the uh, fact that actually the concept that the workforce in the UK is being casualised, that we have more and more people being put onto um, zero hour contracts that are underemployed, uh, isn't actually backed up by the evidence. So yes, okay, off to the CIPD website and they had their August report and uh, give me a moment, I'll get this uh, right. The mega trends is work in the UK really secure. So they had this report and, uh, you know, new to me, it's been out since August, I've not caught it. Um, but yeah, they make the point that actually, if you look at the long term trend, uh, sort of, you know, going back to like 1998, actually the proportion of the workforce that's in sort of this casual employment, so contracting, short term work, including zero hours contracts, actually that, that proportion is broadly the same. And even within... Um, that portion that are doing this kind of, you know, more casual work, uh, only around uh, one in seven of them uh, are saying that they're actually doing it because uh, they can't find permanent work. So as with many things, not something to rest on our laurels, but actually it's nice to see a sort of a counterpoint. We all know about zero hours contracts. The potential to abuse them is absolutely there, but we know that they work well for certain groups. So in particular, the elderly students where they are genuinely looking for something to fill time on their um, basis, uh, on their uh, own terms. So yeah, there we go. About one in five, uh, not necessarily happy with their hours. Two thirds of those actually working a bit more, third working less than they'd ideally like. But actually, the overall casualization of the UK workforce, broadly at the same level, it's been for a long time. So not necessarily a downward trend. All right. So a quick one. Uh, yes, uh, now I'm a YouTuber. I have to say things like like and subscribe. But um, I just hope you enjoyed the video. All right. Cheerio.